All right, step number five, creating the mouth. Um, if you feel like your chin is not big enough and you need to add more clay to the chin, some people are doing that because they, you know, they kind of felt like it, they didn't have enough material down here. It doesn't look in proportion. And once you finish the nose, you can kind of see, does the chin look big enough? You know, what did I do? I just smear connected a little bit more clay onto this. And when the clay is wet like this, it's easy to do. But as soon as you, you're done doing that, then you might have to redo your line. So if your line for the, um, the mouth is uh, halfway between the bottom of the chin and the bottom of the nose, it's the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to look at that again, that distance right about here. It's right about there. That's the halfway. That's the bottom of the mouth. So I'll just put a little line there. And then that's where the bottom. Now, that just indicates that, okay, I need to come up a little bit for the lips for the part of the lips. So I might just draw a line real carefully on here. That just kind of looks like an expression, straight across expression. And once I feel like I've got a good line there, I'm going to um, go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it with this fettling knife. So when I cut it across like this, I'm going to pretty much line it up with the uh, middle of the eyes or just a little short of the middle of the eyes to create that opening. And I'm cutting it fairly deep. I can actually, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I cut it all the way through because you're not going to see the back. And when I do that, I'm able to open up the mouth so I can work inside. So actually, I, I'm going to stick my finger behind here and I'm going to kind of push and it just kind of pushes the mouth. Now, I'm not going to add clay on for the lips. I'm going to create the lips from the, the clay inside the mouth. I'm just, you know, because the lips are kind of a transition between the inside and the outside. And find once this is open this much, I can actually just get my finger in here for the upper lip and I'm going to push on one side and then the other side to create an upper lip. So I'm just pushing those up. Lower lip can be a little trickier. So when I, when I reach behind with my finger and push, I might push down below the lower lip to kind of create it like this. And then I can also use the knife, or I can use a popsicle stick to kind of pull the lip out a little bit. See how I'm just curving it this way? So once that, and then I can just start making adjustments. And you can see I can close the mouth a little bit. I can open it and close it with my finger kind of behind and make some adjustments. So it's starting to get a, a pretty good expression here. And I can use my finger to smooth out the lips. Uh, you can use the uh, Q-tip if you're having trouble getting your fingers in there. But this should be rounded here. It shouldn't be a, 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 an abrupt transition, kind of a rounded transition here. All right, play around with that. And when you're happy, uh, I can see my chin is crooked. I'm gonna add a little more clay over here. Um, you can um, make some adjustments as needed, and then you are ready. Next step, I think we're going to mount these to a slab of clay, so you'll see how that, that works. All right, we're getting there.